Russian officials say a fire triggered explosions in the annexed Crimean Peninsula. The blasts come after a string of explosions destroyed Russian warplanes in the region last week. ABC News national security and defense analyst Mick Mulroy joins me live now for more on this. Mick, thanks for being on. Uh, Ukraine so far isn't saying that it's behind this latest attack in Crimea. So what do we know about what happened there at this point? So, Diane, uh, Ukraine has uh, stated publicly that their mission now is to retake uh, the peninsula of Crimea. And it looks like they have aggressively entered into an irregular warfare phase of their overall defense. And I think we're seeing an uptick in operations both in, in Crimea and around Kherson, which is a key city on the coast. Uh, that uh, that the Ukrainians will also like to launch a counteroffensive. So they're probably not going to uh, acknowledge most of the activity that happens there because they want the Russian soldiers to be afraid whether it's whether it's Ukrainians or whether it's an uh, inside job, so to speak. And that's part of the element of irregular warfare is to really be deceptive and clandestine with your operation. Now, meanwhile, thousands of people are fleeing that region around Europe's largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine. What's the main concern when it comes to that plan, and how widespread would the danger be if something goes wrong there? So this is the largest nuclear plant in, in Europe. So if there's large munitions that are being detonated near that plant, it could potentially rupture the containment mechanism for these reactors, which would spread radioactivity uh, not only through Europe, but it would also go into Russia. It's really time... Uh, it's past time for the international community to put real uh, punishments in place if the Russians don't turn this uh, particular nuclear plant over to the scientists and technicians so they can essentially make sure it's safe and secure and just put a no-fire zone around the entire facility. It's, it is absolutely critical that they do this. And Ukraine's foreign minister says that they have not lost a single Himmer's rocket system throughout this entire conflict. How significant is that, and what does it tell you about their chances of winning the war? So this rocket system is substantial, and I think it's actually making a, it's a game changer on the battlefield, quite frankly, because it allows the Ukrainians to fire outside of the range of artillery, and that and that is is really substantial. They're taking out so many. Uh, armor and artillery of the Russians are having a hard time uh, essentially replacing them because they don't have the technology because of the export controls that we put on them. So the more uh, this rocket system's in use, and obviously that requires a lot of munitions that's coming from the United States, the better. All right, Mick Mulroy, always great to have your analysis, Mick. Thank you. Thanks, Diane. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.